Okay, this is going to be the uh, quarter, I'm not sorry, the uh, sample test for rationals, uh, which are chapter four for 2014 uh, for advanced math. Uh, so go ahead and follow along. There's a couple pictures that I'll have to draw on at the end um, based on the sample test. Okay, so on the first one, what you want to do is you want to figure out your anchor point, okay, because everything's inside there. We're going to have three comma zero for our anchor point. All right, so one, two, three, that's where it's going to be. Now, for that, what that means for us is my uh, vertical asymptote is going to be x equals 3. My horizontal, so that's going to be my vertical, horizontal. Okay? All right, that will come into play later. All right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have this going this way, this uh, going this way. All right? Uh, to graph it, very simple. All right, we're going to use 1 and negative 1. For the concept of 1 over x, because I have no number of, uh, no variable up top, just the number on the bottom. 1 divided by 1 is 1. All right, 1 divided by negative 1 is negative 1. So 1 right, 1 up. Okay, 1 left, 1 down. Okay, and the graph is going to approach that asymptote, approach that one. Okay, it's going to approach this asymptote, and it's going to approach that one. Okay, all right, now, as far as finding the x and y intercept, okay, all right, what I do is I go to menu and uh, into graph. Move that down a little bit so you can see. Okay, all right. Menu into graph, and uh, um, what I'm going to do is one divided by x minus three. Now notice, whatever you want to put underneath, you have to put in parentheses. Okay, so when I draw, all right, f three, f three, x, and draw, I get that. G solve y intercept is negative point three, which is a good estimate there. All right, so negative point three repeating. Okay, make sure you do it with that, all right? And then when I do g solve root, all right, tells me none for this, okay? When I do the domain and range, <clears throat> well, the asymptotes are easy. x equals 3, y equals 0. I already got that. Since I have them in diagonal quadrants, that means I'm going to have all real numbers for the domain, except the only thing I can't use is the x asymptote. All real for the range, the only thing I can't use is the 0, okay? All right, uh, going on to this one, my anchor point here is going to be 2, 1. So two, opposite on the inside, follow on the outside. Same thing here, opposite on the inside. So 2, 1, that means it's x equals 2, y equals 1. So 2 over 1 up, okay? Let me use blue, okay? All right, so I'm going to have this going this way, that going that way, all right? If I want to find out the graph, all right, all right, what I'm going to do, all right, I'm going to do 1 divided by x minus 2. All right, that part I want in parentheses, the 1 I do not. All right, I got that. So g solve uh, y intercept is 0, comma, 0.5. Okay, so if I was graphing that, that'd be like right there. And then uh, g solve root, 1, comma, 0, which would be like right here. Okay, all right, if I'm doing that, uh, 1 over 1 over x, that's 1 and negative 1, so that's 1 and negative 1, 1 right, 1 up, 1 left, 1 down, that's just that point. So what I got is that goes through those two and down, that goes through this one, all right, that's not very good, hold on, all right, and down, like that, okay, finish off that 0, all right, the domain, once again, um, the asymptotes are easy. X equals 2, Y equals 1. All right? The domain is going to be all real numbers, except they can't equal 2. Y is all real numbers, except Y can't equal 1. So just can't equal the asymptotes because they're dashed lines. Okay? Moving on. Okay, the anchor point for this one would be 0, 4. X equals 0, Y equals 4. Okay? 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. All right? So that way and that way, okay? All right. Um, now, when I go to graph that, 1, 1 over x, all right? 1 and negative 1. All right, put 1 in there, that's 1. Negative 1 in there is negative 1. Now, since I have the negative 1 here, I multiply by negative 1. So that's going to be negative 1 and 1. So 1 right, 1 down, 1 left, 1 up, okay? So that's how I get those points, okay? If I want to use the graph to get the other ones, uh, negative 1 divided by x, 
Okay, that's all I want underneath. I want the plus four on the outside. And I draw, I get that, which is a great confirmation. G solve root, all right, 0 0.25 comma zero. Okay, which would be uh, here, all right. Uh, G solve Y intercept, I have none. Okay, so this one is going to go through that and approach that asymptote and go that way. This one's gonna go here, okay, all right. Uh, once again, the asymptotes are easy. X equals zero, Y equals four. Okay, the domain will be all real numbers. Can equals zero. Range is all real numbers. Y can equal four, okay? All right, going to this one. My anchor point's gonna be negative five, negative two. Opposite on the inside, follow on the outside. So one, two, three, four, and five, down one and two. Okay, so I got this and this. Okay, uh, my points are normally uh, 1 over x, that's 1 and negative 1, which is uh, that. Now, since I have that 2 right there, I'm going to multiply those by 2, so it's going to be 2 and negative 2. So 1 right, 1, 2 up, okay, 1 left, 1, 2 down, okay. All right, once again, if I want to graph this, okay, I'm going to delete 2 divided by x plus 5 minus 2. Okay, draw, I get that. G solve root, negative 4, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, so that's already there. Okay, uh, G solve y intercept, which is 0, comma, negative 1.6. Okay, which would be like right in here. So my graph's going to go through that, pass through those points. That's going to go through that and pass through that and approach there. Okay? All right. Uh, my asymptotes, uh, it's going to be x equals negative 5 and y equals negative 2. Okay? My domain will be all real numbers. x can equal negative 5. All real numbers, y can equal negative 2. Okay? I think that's it for that page. All right? Great. All right. So now we're going to go on to some of these other ones. Okay? All right? We're going to go on to some of these other ones. Now, what you're going to have to do on number five is you have to factor, okay? Now, what you're going to want to do in order to factor is you're going to want to go to menu, all right, equal, okay? You're going to want to find your equal part. So we're going to find the solutions here, all right? So polynomial, degree two, all right? That first one is going to be one, all right? I don't have a middle term, so it's going to be zero and then negative nine, okay? All right? And if I solve, I get... 3 and negative 3. So that's going to be x minus 3 and x plus 3. Okay? The other one, all right, I would do uh, 5, okay, negative 14 and negative 3. Okay? So what I got there is that's going to be x minus 3. Okay? Now when I get to that one, that's not going to be negative 1 half. I'm going to move the 5 up. So that's going to be 5x plus 1. So x minus 3, 5x plus 1. As you can see, that is going to be the opposite. Okay? So for, for just to convert the fractions, if you've got x equals negative 1 fifth, that 5 moves up. So that's 5x, and I change the sign to plus 1. Okay? Now, what gets eliminated here is the minus 3. Now, what that creates is it creates a whole at x equals 3. This is the whole. Okay? So when I make the graph, that's going to have that. Now, what I'm going to have here okay, is x, o, x plus 3 over this. Now, the way that works, okay, if I have an x and an x, I'm going to take out an, uh, a 1, because that would be in front of x, so I'd still be left with 1x plus 3. Here, I'm going to take out a 5. If I divide that, that's going to be x plus 1 fifth. Okay? All right? Um, so my anchor point is going to be one, uh, negative one-fifth, all right? To figure out that, to figure out the y-coordinate, I divide these two. So it's one divided by five, which will be one-fifth, all right? Those aren't the best fractions, all right? So I got x equals negative one-fifth and y equals one-fifth. Those are my asymptotes, okay? So negative one-fifth, all right, comma one-fifth. So we can just estimate that to be about right there, all right? Uh, now, when you go ahead and graph that, what I would do 
is when I graph that, I would um, graph the original. So I'm going to graph x squared minus 9. Notice I put parentheses around the whole thing. 5x squared minus 14x minus 3. And draw. Okay? All right? And so I've got stuff in this quadrant and in that quadrant. Uh, G solve root. All right, negative 3 comma 0. Okay? Negative 3, a 1, 2, and 3 comma 0. Okay? Uh, G solve y intercept. I've got 0 comma 3. 1, 2, and 3. So what I'm going to have is that's going to approach that like this. Okay? 0 comma 3. Okay, now, when you get to the domain, okay, here are the things that, that x can't be. x can't be negative one-fifth. x can't be my whole. So my whole was at x equals 3. So at 1, 2, and 3, I put a little hole right there. All right? My y could have been all real numbers, but y can't be one-fifth. Okay? And as I do the asymptotes, x equals negative one-fifth, y equals one-fifth. Okay? All right? Moving on to the second one. All right, I can't factor this one, but what I can do is I can take out a 6, and if I divide that, divide those both by 6, that's what I would get. I can take out a 3 here, divide these both by 3, I get this. Okay? So what my anchor point is going to be is that would be 3, okay, because the opposite on the inside. To find the y coordinate, I divide these numbers. 6 divided by 3 would be 2. So I got x equals 3, y equals 2. I have no holes because nothing crossed off, okay? All right, so 3, 2, 1, 2, 3, 1, and 2, okay? All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and graph that in the calculator to find some more of that stuff, okay? Once again, I'm going to just type the original in, 6x plus 6 divided by 3x minus 9, all right? If I draw that, I get that, so g solve root, negative 1, 0. Okay? And uh, g solve y intercept, 0, negative 0.6 repeating, which would be like here. So what I'm going to have is that's going to go through that approach there. It's going to go over here, like that. Okay? So I scroll down, asymptotes are easy. Okay, domain is all real numbers, uh, x can't be 3, y is all real numbers, y can't be 2. Okay, all right, moving on, okay, all right, okay, so now this one, I can't factor, this one I can, all right, so I'm going to have to go into equal, all right, so menu, equal, okay, polynomial, degree 2, 4, 9, Negative 3, solve. Okay. Um, actually, I think there's a mistake on that. Um, what I, I think that's supposed to be 15. Is that what I want? Now, hold on one second. All right. I want that to work out, so. Um, I want that to be 11. Okay, so go ahead and change that to 11x. I probably, by the time you get this video, I probably already made that change. Um, so change that to 11. I think that works. Yep. No. Uh, 4x squared, 12, 11. What did I do here? Ah, oh, that's a problem. Wait, did that? Yeah, that, that didn't work before. Yeah. Oops. So let's change that to 11. Yeah, that's what I want. All right. So change that to 11 so I would have that in x plus 3. Okay. Now, what happens there is this cancels out and that cancels out. So I got a hole at 1 fourth. All right. Watch. I'll touch on it in a second. Now, what's left over is this. So this is like one of my original problems. So that's going to be negative 3 comma 0 for the anchor point. All right, and I, can, I don't have to worry about dividing there because this is a, a variable. There's a number up top variable down there below. So negative 3, 0, 1, 2, and 3. Okay, these blue. I'll 
once again, what I would do here, you can either, you can graph the original, would probably be easier just to stay consistent, okay? So if you graph um, 4x minus 1 divided by um, 4x squared, all right, plus 11x minus 3, all right, draw, g solve, root, all right, I add none. Uh, G solve, whoops, uh, G solve Y intercept, uh, 0.3. Okay, so I got this. All right, all right, I'm going to make my graph. All right, through that point, approaching that, approaching that. Now I got a hole at 1 fourth, so I'm going to put a little hole right there, okay? As I come down here, all right, my domain's going to be all real numbers, the things that can't equal. Can't equal negative three, can't equal one fourth, okay, for my whole, right? Forgot to label my asymptotes there, okay? Also, all real numbers, y can't be zero. Um, my uh, asymptotes are x equals negative three, and y is zero, okay? All right, and the last one of the graphs, okay? I want to factor both of those. I want to factor both of those. All right, so I got uh, I go menu equal polynomial degree two. I'm gonna do one zero negative twenty five. All right, and solve. All right, that's gonna be five and five. So x plus five, x minus five. If you do the same thing there for that one, okay. Uh, exit one uh, z uh, seven and ten. All right, I get uh, x plus two x plus 5. So if you notice, what's going to cross off here is 5. So I have a hole at negative 5. I have this left over. I've got a variable in front of a variable. So I'm going to have to divide something out. This I would divide out 1. That's going to stay that. This I would also divide out 1, which would stay that. Okay. Now my anchor point, that's going to be negative 2. To figure out the y coordinate, I divide those, which is 1. So I, these are my asymptotes x equals negative 2, y equals 1, okay, so that way, that way, okay, all right, um, so I'm going to use my uh, graph to figure out the, what, the, what the shape looks like, okay, x squared minus 25 divided by x squared plus 7x plus 10, All right, I get that. So G solve root, 5 comma 0. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Whoops, I did that wrong. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay. All right, uh, G solve uh, Y intercept, 0, negative 2.5, which would be here. Okay, so my graph goes through these things and approaches that. This is the other part. Now I got a hole at negative five. So this is one, two, three, four, and five. So I'm gonna go ahead and put a deal right there. Okay? Alright. Now let's get on to the domain and range. Okay? Alright, the do uh, the asymptotes are easy. X equals negative two, y equals one. Okay? My domain, all real numbers. X can't be negative two, x can't be negative five from the hole. All real numbers for the range, y can't be one. Okay? So the only thing you include in these domain and ranges are the asymptotes and the holes. Don't include the intercepts. Those don't count. Okay? All right. Now this is writing the equation all right, from, from here. Okay? So it says a vertical asymptote at the y-axis. Now to remember, a vertical asymptote is an x equals equation. The horizontal asymptote is a y equals equation. All right? So what you should do, whoops, what you should do is always set that up first. Okay, so if the vertical asymptote is the y-axis, okay, what that's going to be is going to be zero. Okay, the horizontal asymptote is that. So my anchor point is zero, negative two. Well, what would that look like? Well, one over x, okay, because that would be what zero would be, and a minus two on the outside. Okay, that's one of the types of, of graphs. Okay, um, a vertical asymptote at x equals four. Put the horizontal one at y equals three. Okay, all right. So what that would be. All right, and then a hole at negative 2. So if I've got a hole 
That means that x plus 2 and x plus 2 have to be in there, all right, because they're going to eventually cross off, all right. To do the x part of it, that would have to be x minus 4. And what I can just do there, because I've got a, 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 a 3, I'm just going to go put a plus 3 on the outside. That's probably the simplest way to do it. A vertical asymptote at x equals, at x equals 4 and a horizontal at, at, at that, they make that pretty easy on you. All right, so what I'm going to have there is 1 over all right, x minus 4 for opposite and minus 1 on the outside. Okay, the last two I'm going to have to draw on here, okay, because they were hand drawn on your review. Okay, what you have here is 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, up 2. All right. Okay, so the first, and then you have a point that's uh, 1 over, 1, 2, 3 up, and then 1 left, 1, 2, 3 down. Okay, and the graph should look something like this. Okay, all right. Now, how do we make our, our, our function? Pretty easy. Let's look at our anchor point. That's going to be um, 3, 2, all right, which means x equals 3, y equals 2. So when I go ahead and make the equation there, that's going to be 1 over x minus 3. All right, plus 2. Now, in order to figure out this number here, okay, which I wrote too prematurely, I normally have the values of 1, 1, negative 1, negative 1. But what do I have now? 1 right, 1, 2, 3 up. 1 left, 1, 2, 3 down. Now, how would you get there? That would be a multiple of 3. So that's what I'm going to pick for this graph. Okay? And then uh, 17, final question. Okay, uh, that's going to be uh, 2 left, 2 down, I believe. All right, and then there's a point here and a point here. Okay, so that, that anchor point is negative 2, negative 2, which would mean this. Okay, so when I make that, all right, the bottom part here would be plus 2. I would have a minus 2 on the outside. Okay, I went a little too far with that. All right, let me move that over so you, that would make some sense. Okay. To figure out this number over here, once again, my normal values are 1, 1, negative 1, negative 1. But this time I go 1 right, 1 down. And the other one I go 1 left, 1 up. So the only way that changes is a factor of negative 1. So I make negative 1 my answer as far as that top part, and that would be an example. Lots of different possibilities for that. Uh, but that's a sample test. Go ahead and practice that, and you should be fine.